What's up everybody, Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the more storage mod, and what this mod does is it adds more storage options to Minecraft. So instead of using just a plain old Minecraft chest, you can use um, safes, cabinets, shelves, lockers, and that's pretty much it for what it adds. It also adds a locksmith station to craft... Um, or not craft but set combinations on locks and keys so you can see here we have the cabinet and we have a cabinet with uh, glass doors then we have an obsidian safe and you can see all the items in every single one of these storage options then we have a gold case or safe then we have a crate and the obsidian case um, has one more row than the gold case as you can see then we have the locker and the locker has a lot of storage if you stack two of them on top of each other and then all of these will be the shelves and you have four rows in each shelf so now you can see I have a lock and a key and then I'll show you the locksmith workbench and what to do what you do to use a lock is you put a lock up in here and then you create a random combination so I'll just type out one two one two and you can see it shows up right there and then go ahead and click on set combination now this locks combination is one two one two and I'll go ahead and put it on the cabinet here and you can see it shows up so I can't open it and I still can't open it with the key so to get the key to work we'll come back to the locksmith workbench place the key in here and then I'll set the combination for the key to one two one two set combination and then I'll bring the key back down and now I should be able to open it now you do not have to be holding the key to open it you just have to have it somewhere in your inventory and you'll always be able to open that lock so this is the um, storage mod so I now need to clean out my minecraft jar after I do that I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR 7-Zip or WinZip. All these programs will work the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you need to download Audio Mod, Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, Minecraft Forge, and the More Storage mod itself. So to get these, th these five files, I'll go ahead and give you the link to these four pages in the description. So first off with the More Storage mod, if we go ahead and scroll down, you can see that there's all the information for this mod as well as the crafting recipes. But to download the mod, we're going to go ahead and just come down to the download section and click on the download page link. And this will bring us over to another page and you want to go ahead and download for Minecraft 1.1 and the more storage version 1.4.2. zip. And as soon as you click on that link, it will automatically download the mod. So now to download modia blah, audio mod and mod loader. Go ahead and come to Rezagami's mods and scroll down until you see mod loader 1.1 and you can either download from Adfly or direct whatever you prefer to do. Keep in mind downloading from Adfly will help support the mod creator. So after you download mod loader, go ahead and scroll down a little bit more until you see audio mod 1.1 and again you can either download from Adfly or direct whatever you prefer to do. Now to download mod loader MP, go ahead and come over to Flans mods and come down to the mod section and click on mod loader MP. This will bring us down to the download section for Modeler MP, and you can either download from AdFly or Mediafire, whatever you prefer to do. Now to download Minecraft Forge, if we go ahead and scroll down to we see Minecraft 1.1 only, and go ahead and click on this link right here, and this will bring us over to a new page, and you want to scroll down and go ahead and click on Recommended Client, and that will automatically download the Minecraft Forge mod. So that is how to download everything you'll be installing. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Type in percent app data percent. Just like this right here. Then go ahead and open your roaming. Now open your dot minecraft. Then open your bin. Left click your minecraft jar, then right click it. Do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now your bin will not need we'll need this later on in the tutorial so go ahead and minimize that for now so once you have your minecraft jar open go ahead and open up audio mod highlight these three files and drag them into your minecraft jar and hit ok go ahead and close audio mod now open up mod loader highlight all of these class files and drag them into your minecraft jar and hit ok go ahead and close mod loader 
Now open up mod letter MP and again highlight all of these class files and drag them into your Minecraft jar. Hit OK. Go ahead and close mod letter MP. Now open up Minecraft Forge and we want to put all of these into your Minecraft jar as well. And the easiest way to highlight everything would be to hold Control then hit A. And that will highlight everything and then drag all of that into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Minecraft Forge. Now in your Minecraft jar you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not see this folder it's okay. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select delete files, then hit yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you always delete MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. So once you delete MetaInf you can go ahead and close the Minecraft jar. And you should have minimized your bin so bring that back up. And go ahead and hit back so we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now if you do not have a folder in here called mods then you're going to need to create one so go ahead and left click then do new folder and name it mods just like this right here no capitalization just M-O-D-S so once you have, you've created your mods folder go ahead and open up the more storage file and now open mods and take the more storage client uh, version 1.4.2 zip and drag it into your mods folder. Now go ahead and hit back so we can see the resources folder. Now take the resources folder from the more storage file and go ahead and drag that into your .minecraft folder then hit yes and there you go you can go ahead and close everything down and that's it you're done installing the mod. So hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.